What up, green kitties? Meow, meow. What up, y'all? I'm doing my video at night, right? <clears throat> Hold on, y'all. What up, y'all? I'm doing my video at night. Y'all leave me alone, okay? It's 11 o'clock at night. I've been up all day. I'm tired. Why do I always look greasy in the camera? Hold on, y'all. I gotta fix y'all. Okay, fuck it. Listen, I may look crooked today. But I got on here to say, hey, happy Wednesday. Going into Thursday. I'm so happy. But damn, here we go. A quick Friday. You know, like we just came from Friday. It's Friday's gonna come around. My God. <clears throat> you guys, it's so crazy because I don't know if it's me or it's what's normal to everybody. Let me know in the comments. Does this seem like time is moving faster than it did when you was younger? I want to know. Because it seemed like when I was a teenager, even an early adult, it seemed like it took a long time. Like, it seemed like it took me a long time to get into my 30s. And now that I got into my 30s, it seemed like it's not slowing down. I'm finna hit 40. You understand? Like, I am. You know? But it all went through my teens. It seemed like it took forever. My early 20s, it took forever. And as soon as I hit that 30 mark, it's just like, whoop. like every day, like, goddamn, time ain't shit. Like, I knew time wasn't shit, but damn, like, time is like, it just seemed like that to me. Let me know if it seemed like that to y'all. Just an observation. But anyway, I was just coming to say, hey, also, I got a new book because... I'm on a renewal, okay? I know a lot of people's on renewal, but I'm on renewal. Just kind of figuring out things that I like because I forgot what I like a long time ago. Let me see. Is that like better? Because I'm in my car, as you guys know, Range Rover chat. Um, I'm in my car, and my car is off. Normally, it's on, so my steering wheel, but because I, my steering wheel is kind of crooked. So, sorry, y'all. I just got to deal with it. Because until I fix my steering wheel, it's just going to be crooked. Anyway, so I'm like, when my grandfather first passed away, I was in a daze so for like a whole year i was just in a daze i was just in a daze in a daze in a daze you know um my mind was just focused on centering around that and what i had to do because i moved back into a, my old state so that's kind of what my mind was focused trying to get you know <clears throat> things you know orchestrated for me and my family since we moved you know out of state from where we lived so <clears throat> that's been something so that's been something right um why do i always look greasy when i get in this camera i don't know i cannot wait to put some hair on my head y'all i don't know i'm just tired of short hair now i want a ponytail or something i don't know anyway um but i'm in a renewal i'm always in a renewal because i'm always trying to involve i'm always trying to upgrade myself that's why i'm in this situation right now with no fucking teeth i need to quit it on upgrading okay physically or whatever this shit is called anyway um and so of course for me and hopefully for everybody to regroup or to shed old things and get into your new things you know you have to start with the mind how you think you know what you think if you'll be it you know all that your mind is everything right so i'm trying to get my brain healthy 
and then it'll, everything else will follow along, you know, follow, follow, follow add on, you know, add on to it. So, <clears throat> I forgot the things that I enjoyed in life. I think I told you guys that. Um, you know, if anybody would ask me would I be happy, I told you guys the answer I would give people. But as far as, you know, why you know what makes me happy in this world you, you know what what you know what makes me happy in the inside not my husband my kids but in the inside what what is my joys what is you know who am i and um i don't i didn't know i didn't have an answer i really i didn't know you know i knew my character but i didn't know who i was as Montrese. You know, I knew who I was as a mom. I knew how, how how I was and who I was as a wife, as a for everybody, any relationship, other than the relationship with myself. I knew who I was and what position I played in. But for me, I didn't know about me. I didn't know what position I played for me. You understand? So I need to figure out what position I play for me, so I can play that for me and make sure the positions that I am in an in people world, I can be good in it. I can thrive in it because I know what I like and who I am. You know, just like they say, if you're not happy, you can't make nobody else happy. So something like that. So um, in order to know who you are or what you like, you have to put some things up there, right? I like this, I don't like that. No, I do like to do this because I was at square zero. I had no idea of who I am, what I like to do or anything. I'm trying to stay in the light because it's dark over here. Let me see. Sorry, y'all. So anyway, um, well, usually I'd be somewhere, but I'm in front of my house, so it's not a whole lot of light because it's late and I just pulled up and going I'm going to sleep I mean but I was sitting in the car because my um, maid is still kind of cleaning up she's almost done and I don't like going in the house when it's almost done I like for everything to be done then I go in the house so she's almost done and then I'll be going in the house but in the meantime between time I'm like I can make me a video so anyway um so I I try to drink alcohol like, you know how, not like wine, you know how when people have settle in their day, when they're done with their day, they drink a cup of wine. So I was like, well, maybe because my days are so busy, my life is so busy, maybe um, I would like to have a, a nightcap, you know, and I tried that and I really didn't like that because it made me feel dull. It didn't, you know, it took, I have a natural kind of high, I have like a natural, you know, get up. So to you know i don't really need much to add on to me in my in my world in my life hey glow you leaving yeah you done with everything you was able to wipe the table down in the kitchen what? was you able to wipe the table down in the kitchen yes, I, yes, I okay cool you coming tomorrow at six yes i am okay all right so she's done so I'm going to hurry up so I can go in the house. Anyway, um, damn, what was I saying? Oh, drinking. Um, so I didn't like it. So I know that wine, you know, nightcaps wasn't going to work for me. Now, if you guys have any suggestions as far as wine, I did like a white Zippendale. Then I tried a Moscato. Then I tried, um, what was that shit called? It's all the S, I think. I don't know. Um, I try to try different wines to see, you know, you know, and they all gave me that dull, slow ass feeling. I didn't like that. That ain't calming me down. Um, then I said, well, maybe marijuana, right? And because there's so many different forms of marijuana, you know, I wouldn't see myself rolling up a blunt. I don't think that's ladylike. Even if I do smoke cigarettes, y'all leave me alone. Um, and I don't see myself really rolling the blunt. Like, I, uh, uh But um, I was like, let me go to the dispensary. Let them explain it to me. Because I smoked weed back in my younger days. But even with that, I wasn't a big pothead. Because I've always been a person, like I said, who had my own natural high. My own natural, you know, situation. So I never... Huh? So I never really needed anything, you know? Um, so what about the lunch? I got, I, I got it. Don't worry about it. So you still ain't got paid yet? Mm -mm. 
It's coming. It's coming. Okay. So, um, what else say? I got that. Um, what was I gonna say? She threw me off. What was I saying? Damn. I don't know what I was saying. Oh, the weed. <coughs> That's probably why I don't know what I'm saying. I've been smoking weed. Okay, so when I first... Oh, so I went to the dispensary and I was telling her... Because, you know, it's different forms. It's the flower. It's the um, the vape. It's the gummies. It's, it's many, you know, many things. And a lot of people smoke marijuana, you know, not just bad people. Back when I was young... Um, it probably was everybody smoking weed, but now it's more that when I go, now they have dispensaries, you really be knowing who the fuck smoke weed. Because sometimes it be looking like principals in that motherfucker. Sometimes it look like all type of motherfuckers in the dispensary, okay? So, but back in my days, you kind of really didn't know. Now you kind of know. So, anyway, so it's not really a bad thing now to smoke marijuana, you know? So, I'm like, okay, let me, let me see. Um... So she explained everything to me and I told her kind of who I am, what I'm looking for for the marijuana, what I do want it to do and what I don't want it to do. So she recommended a hybrid and then she said a, um, a, um, a vape that may be good. So I'm like, okay. So I go and I go get me a vape. Let's see, yeah, I think it's cute. You blow it up. You blow it out of here and you charge it up through there. And it's peach, peach and cream, peaches and cream. Okay. So, um, she said you can still flow, you can take care of your kids, do this, do that. And I'm not going to lie, I've been able to do that. Now, when I first smoked the weed, I was like, oh my God, I don't like this high. I cannot believe it. I don't like being high. I was being paranoid. But then the next day, I was like, mm, well, it wasn't that bad, you know. Let me try it again. So I went to, that's when I went to the weed dispensary and kind of got questions and, you know, whatever. So, um, I wouldn't say that I like it. I wouldn't say I don't, I do or don't. I'm not sure yet. <clears throat> I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be into the weed thing. I don't know. I know I'm not into the gummies. I don't like that shit. I know that I'm not into the flower because I ain't rolling shit. Now, the vape pen could possibly stick. Um, so, we'll see. <clears throat> um, also, I used to love to read back in the days. I used to love to read. I'm a juvenile hall kid. I'm a group home kid as well. So, people that have been in the system, they know how to read real good. Because that's all you. That's all they give you is books in that motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. You go anywhere. That's all they give you is books, you know? So, you have to really be creative and, and, and shit. Or you'll be bored. So, reading, I always... I learned how, you know, to enjoy stories real good and reading. And then I found out, shit, reading is like, a, a, like watching a movie, but better. Because you're, you're able to, you know six your characters the way you want to you know so um i went to target to get my kids some um socks because when my nanny um when she uh so this is what i have for dinner y'all del taco got this purple pear sprite popper y'all it is so fucking good. Anyway. So, so um. Now, I, think, I keep forgetting what the fuck I'm saying. I think that that weed really fucks your memory up, y'all. Damn, what was I saying? I, oh, reading. So, I went to Target to get my kids some socks because my, my nanny... When she washes, she puts all the socks in one bag. And if anybody have kids damn near around the same age, even if you don't have them around the same age, I don't know. But, and you put them all in a bag, it is like hell trying to get a match. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know why, but it is. And so, um, I can't really find what I'm looking for. And so, I'm, I got tired of that. Not only that my kids walk around the house they walk everywhere damn near with their socks on and so you know how white socks start getting like faded at the bottom so it was time i was like oh no it wasn't real faded but even i like them to be kind of crisp or damn near close to crisp you know i don't like worn out socks not even a little bit 
So, I had to go do a Target run. And so, of course, I let my kids get a toy. So, while they were getting a toy, I went to the book aisle and I found this. Now, while I was getting, I'm going to say something real quick before I show you. But while I was getting a book, right, because I've always, you know, collected books. Like, when I really settle down into whatever state and whatever house I'm really living in, y'all. Like, when I really get to my forever house, um, I'm going to be the one that has a book stand. Because I buy so many books, whether self-help books or whatever books there is that I will be interested in. I buy them. Rick Ross book. Um... Uh, uh, Michelle Obama's book like all of those people that I admire or whatever I usually will go cop their book right <clears throat> gospel books pastor books I have many books and but today as I was going over to get it my my daughter said mom you get you always come you always get books but do you ever read them I was like because I really don't like I get them and I'll read like maybe the first couple maybe the first 10 pages and then I never go back to it and then I go get you know because in my brain as I'm buying it I'm like yeah I'm, I'm gonna read it you know yeah and somehow I don't so when she said that I said you know what I am really gonna finish this I'm gonna finish this this book um anywho now I love this lady here she is one of my people that I aspire to be um I really love her. Her name is Tabitha Brown. Tabitha Brown. She's a black lady. She uh, eats vegan. A Christian lady. Um, she played in some uh, TV show. I can't remember right now because I didn't really see the TV show. That's why I really don't know the name of it. I think but it's a popular TV show. And she's just been out here. She has a restaurant where I live at. A vegan restaurant. I've never been to. I want to. And uh, I just love her family. I love, you know, if I could, if God could say, well, out of all the people you've seen in life, who would you like to mentor you? It would be her. I just love her. Let me know in the comments down below if you like Tabitha Brown. I love her. <laughs> anyway, she has a couple of books out, but and both all of them were at Target. But do y'all know books are twenty four ninety nine? Have books always been that expensive? Because when I was younger, I went to the library. Now, as I got a little bit older, I started going to Borders. It's called Borders. I don't know. I've been so long. Which is a bookstore. And then on one part, they got the CD store. Like the record player store. Inside of the bookstore. Anywho. Um, but I don't remember how much they were. But it was $24. So I said, you know what? Because I don't really be reading my books, I'm not going to go buy it. I'm not going to buy both. I'm only going to buy one, make sure that I finish it, and then get get another one. So pray that I finish it, you guys. If you guys want, because it's also a workout. It's a um, worksheet book. You know, it asks you questions. It's a it's a, uh, a book that you can engage in, which is always good with self-help. So not only is she telling stories, but, she, it, but she's also trying to help um, with whatever you're going through and how she did it step by step. Basically going through her life and how she made it to the other end. And she's showing us kind of how to do it if we want to do it her the way she did it. So I'm grateful for that. <clears throat> but it's called... See, uh, seen, 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 loved, heard, seen, I seen, loved, and heard. Um, it's a, a, a guiding journal for feeding the soul. A guiding journal from feeding for feeding the soul. Tabitha Brown. If they say it's thirty percent off, so maybe I didn't spend. Because see, right here on the back. Can y'all see it? It says $24.99, so I don't know. But it did say 30%. I don't even know if the lady even ran it for 30 I don't even know if I ever see this. But anyway, um, <clears throat> however, you pay for what you want. You know, if you want it, you're going to pay for it, period. So, and I wanted it, so I was willing to pay for it. <clears throat> but um, I'm going to try to work through this book, get my mind right, get, you know, put my stuff together you know, um, write out a little 30 day plan for myself. I do want to eat better. I do want my daughter to eat better. Um, uh, my daughter is healthy. You guys know my daughter is kind of healthy, which is fat. 
<clears throat> and I want her to lose some weight. And it's really going to be easy for her to do it because she likes vegetable fruits. Like she likes everything. She's not a picky eater. So to get her on the right track, it, it only really takes me being consistent with her in this time now because um, when she sit up, she's breathing too hard. It sounds like it will be a problem. And so I, I want to help my daughter in that area. So I also want to start eating right. So I, I can't wait for that. So just write down the things that I want to kind of do is what I'm on right now. And filling my body up, praying, reading uplifting books that are true um making plans you know adding more things that i like knowing what i don't like all of that you know um yeah and hopefully i'll find who i am in that in this journey and what i like and start doing the things that i do like i know i love music i know i love concerts uh, I know I love to eat out, you know, so getting really into those things and see how I can fit them in my life, you know. Um, so that's my my plan. <clears throat> um, and I'll tell you guys, oh, oh shit, I gotta go, y'all, my light went out, bye.